All right, so let's tackle this word problem here and let's remind ourselves, you know, when it comes to word problems, the first thing we want to do is not going to be read every single word start to finish. You know, we don't want to start with a coach splits players in the off. No, we don't want that. We need to, first things first, read the question statement, the question sentence. So what are we being asked to find, everybody? That's what we want to do first because if you start from here, you might confuse yourself in the details. So we'll start off with a question statement, and it says, how many are on offense? Again, everybody, we're not trying to just read all the numbers and info first. We want to know why we're even looking at this. And the best way to get that done is to start with the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. That's where we want to start. So everyone, again, first things first, we want to know how many players are on offense. That's my goal. Now it's time to go ahead and read the information. So here, in the same sentence as that how many, I see that they say that there are 24 players on defense. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and write that down over here. We have 24 players on defense. So I'll just write down defense equals 24. Now, the reason I wrote this, my friends, the reason I wrote this in the same line is because these two values are being compared, especially since they're in the same sentence. I hope we see that. It says, hey, 24 on defense, how many offense? So this many defense, blank offense. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that first sentence to see how that might help us in this problem. So here we go. It says, a coach splits players into offense and defense in a five to three ratio. All right, everybody, let's see if we've got this here. My party people, it says offense and defense in a ratio of five to three. Let's go ahead and break this down, everybody. The five, is that going to be offense or defense? Everyone tell me. Yeah, is the five going to be defense or offense? That's going to be offense. That is going to be offense, absolutely. Because it's about the order in which it's written, everybody. What do they say? They split the players into offense and defense. Offense was first. Five was first. So boom, that's how we have here. And so we'll make sure that the five is for offense. And I'll make sure to compare the same things in the same way, maybe not with the same color so we don't get confused. We'll go ahead and stick to black there. And we have offense being five, and then the second value three, second stated value was defense, so we'll make sure we have defense in the right place. Defense equals three. All right, we're here. That was the hardest part, everyone. That was the hardest part. Now that we're past this hardest part, what we can do now is set up our proportion. Let's go ahead and place a little X here. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up our proportion by making sure we compare defense to offense, defense to offense. Check this out. We've got defense 24 offense X. So I'll write 24 for defense, X for offense. I'll just write D and O above each other. Next thing I'll do is I'll make sure I compare the same things in the same way. So defense over offense, three over five. If you just so happen to write the X first over 24, so offense over defense, all you need to make sure you do is do offense over defense. Both of these are absolutely correct. Both of them are absolutely correct. So with that said, booyah, my party people, we can solve either one of these and be absolutely fine. If we were to go ahead and do pure cross multiplication and division, you'll notice that we'll have to do 24 times five, and that would be 120. And then we would divide that by three, giving us the answer, which is 40. We can also notice that, hey, if we find the convenience in the comparisons, we can also get this done in a much faster fashion. 
So right over here, three going into 24, that's times eight, right to left. So that means five to the answer would be times eight. And five times eight, again, can get you the correct answer rather quickly, being 40. So our correct answer here, my party people, is B. After we get the proper setup down, we can cross multiply and divide, or we can use our little convenient comparison trick. But nonetheless, it's all about comparing the same things in the same way. All right, so with this new question here, we're gonna go ahead and read the question first per usual. So we're gonna read the question and it says, what is the ratio of birds to the total number of animals? All right, sounds good. So we see that and I'm saying, okay, we are going to compare birds to all animals. Okay, so the total number of animals. So when we do that, everybody, when we try to write this ratio, we do have a number for the number of birds. That's gonna be right here, 27. So when I write that down, that's exactly where it goes, under birds. Now from here, everybody, which of the remaining numbers belongs for all animals? Should it be 45, should it be 36, or should it be a combination? Yeah, in this case, when we're saying total number of animals, well, we're gonna take the animals that we see, 45 for fish, 27 for birds, 36 for hamsters, and we're gonna grab the three of those and add them together. So we have 45, 27, and 36. If you'd like to use mental math, one way that I'd prefer to go about it is going like this. 40 plus 20 is 60, plus 30 is 90. So you have 90 right here, and then I'll just work with this. Five plus seven is 12, 12 plus six is 18, 90 plus 18 is 108. And you can kind of work that out mentally faster than you can write this down. And that's what we want to go for. But nonetheless, we have 108 here for all animals. And what we have to do now, noticing that the answer choices are definitely not 27 and 108, we're going to have to simplify that ratio. So when we take a look at 27 and 108, even if you didn't know that 27 can be divided into 108, Everybody, what number do we know goes into both 27 and 108? Even if you didn't notice it was 27, we might see the 9. Yeah, because guess what? 9 times 3 is 27, and 9 times 12 is 108. So if we go ahead and divide the 9 out of each, that's what it turns into, 3 and 12. And then now that we're here... This might be a little more clear because everybody, what can we divide out of 3 and 12? Yeah, we can divide out of 3. And so once we do that, we see that we'll divide 3 by 3, giving us 1, and 12 by 3, giving us 4. And there's our final answer. The ratio of birds to the total number of animals is 1 to 4, making the correct answer here, answer choice A. And there we are.